Delicious. When it comes to PUBG, where you choose to drop does a lot in terms of setting the tone for that round. If you're someone who enjoys landing more isolated in an effort to better your chances of making it to the mid to late game with little to no opposition, then you're certainly encouraged to do so. But for all my fun-loving, thrill-seeking masochists who crave high-risk, high-reward, adrenaline-fueled chaos of trying to survive hot drops, then have no fear. Why You Suck at PUBG is here, and today, we're going to discuss some strategies that you can use to help increase your chances of survival in those intense, early-game situations. One of the first things you're going to want to master if you're going to be hot dropping is knowing where to jump in order to get the best drop on your opposition when parachuting. In order to do this, what you're going to want to do is jump from the plane when you're roughly a thousand meters or one kilometer away from where you want to land. For reference, the large black squares on the map grid are a thousand meters, so you can use this as a good gauge when judging your distance. When you jump, you'll want to fly out towards your destination in a flat, straight line up to the point where you're close to 150 to 200 meters away from your landing zone. At this point, you'll want to dive straight down either by pressing the shift key or looking directly at the ground in order to achieve the highest falling speed possible, or at least 230 kilometers per second, just before your chute deploys. If you happen to overshoot your landing, or your destination is a little shorter than 1000 meters from the moment you leave the plane, then flying in a more diagonal direction towards your destination can help make up some of that difference. One thing to note though is that if you do press shift, make sure to press it again as your chute deploys. Otherwise, you'll be stuck constantly descending and will lack the ability to adjust your falling speed. As your chute deploys, one of the first things you should be doing is taking a quick moment to look around and see who's landing with you. Being aware of enemy locations can inform you if the spot you've chosen to land is going to be safe enough to loot, or if not, perhaps make last second corrections to your landing to better your chances of finding a weapon without being immediately killed. Next thing you'll want to do is be looking for weapons on the ground just before you make touchdown. Now, due to things like latency with the game's servers, this might not happen every time, but if you happen to see things spawn in on the ground just before you make touchdown, this brief moment can be used as a small window of opportunity to make any corrections necessary to land on or near weapons. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of players make in these first few moments are picking up whatever is near them like beds or attachments. I can't stress enough how this can be a waste of time and should be avoided. If you're going to be hot dropping, winning fights can come down to a difference of seconds, so the emphasis should always be to reach combat readiness to some degree as soon as possible. Even if the first gun you find is, say, only a pistol or a shotgun, having it equipped and loaded will put you in a position to eliminate other players who spent time picking up things other than a gun. While having armor and a helmet is important, it doesn't do you much good if you don't have a way to defend yourself. Besides, you'll have enough time to loot for gear once there's less players to contest the area. One thing I like to do during early game and even mid game looting is making marks on the map for things like extra helmets or vests that I could easily come back to should mine get damaged. It's a nice tool that you can use and helps keeping you from having to remember where things are when things get heated. If you've managed to find a gun, then you're ready to start getting involved in fights. What you need to consider at this point is what type of weapon you have and understanding that each weapon has its own range of effectiveness. What I mean by this is, knowing at what distance and situations your weapon is going to do the most damage. In cases where your first weapon is a shotgun, you'll want to be taking fights within the 5 to 20 meter ranges since any further than that renders the gun much less likely to inflict enough damage to kill someone. So sticking to tight corridors of places like the school or hacienda will net better results than trying to take fights out in the open. Even though hot drops are known for their relentless action and typically aggressive players, this doesn't mean that everyone plays them the same. Most players in these situations are generally more inclined to take fights and push your position, but some will choose to play much more conservatively if they feel they can catch you off guard. While we all know the frustration of being killed by someone holding up in a room or a building waiting for you to walk by, the onus is still on you as a player to anticipate these types of players and always be keeping them in mind when navigating these locations. Checking your corners and clearing rooms properly only takes a moment of your time and could make the difference when being confronted with one of these players. Last thing to keep in mind are those players whose strategy involves landing at a secondary location of these hot drops and pushing the last remaining players for their spoils. Simply clearing out all the players from a hot drop location doesn't mean you're free and clear from opposition, so it's important to keep both an eye and an ear out for anyone looking to take advantage of your perceived immunity. Nothing feels worse than getting 5 or so kills, searching the area for the best loot, and then dying to someone who knew to wait for you trying to leave. When it's all said and done, hot drops are one of the best ways to get your reps in when trying to improve at PUBG. 
Many high-level players agree that hot dropping over and over is a great way to get better at the game more quickly because it affords you more opportunities to get into gunfights and practice with the different types of weapons and engagements. I understand this can be frustrating at first due to the randomness of the loot and how dying repeatedly without kills can be really discouraging. It certainly doesn't appeal to everyone, but if you're looking at ways to get into the action, then there's no better place than hot drops. It really will condition you to become more comfortable in intense situations and feel less afraid of dying. Let's face it, PUBG can be a bit of a cruel mistress at times, so learning her more sadistic ways will better prepare you down the road for anything she'll try and throw your way.